Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new to the channel. If you are new, my name is Haley. I am a single mom to my seven-year-old daughter. I have a huge passion for food, cooking, and all of the food prepping things and cooking from scratch lately. I like to share some food prep videos with you. Every single one of them is going to be different because I like to prep ahead of time some things in bulk. So sometimes the week will be more snack items. Sometimes the week will be more meals. Uh, so every single week looks totally different this week there was a lot of breakfast type food items and more of uh, ingredients versus meals and snacks um, I do like to stock up when I am prepping so I don't always prep the same things every single week all right first and foremost pizza dough I love this pizza dough recipe I think I found it on Pinterest back over the summer and I've been making just this recipe ever since because it, it is so easy and it is so good i haven't bought besides i think the one time i went to trader joe's i haven't bought frozen pizza in months besides that one i think uh i just love prepping pizza dough it is so incredibly easy and tasty and so sometimes on friday nights we will have a homemade movie uh well we'll have a movie night with homemade pizza this recipe it makes two dough balls uh so depending on what day I make them. I usually pop them in the freezer and that way I can thaw them as I wanna go ahead and use them. I should probably start doubling this batch of dough because it seems to be uh, every other week is when I am prepping it because we usually have one maybe once a week. Dough was one of those things that in the beginning was incredibly daunting for me to make. I didn't know how to knead. I Googled it and I feel like the more that I'm practicing, the better I'm getting and the more I am enjoying it. This is sort of gonna sound strange, but I ended up making some walnut milk. I know it is not milk. Some people have a, have a thing when people are talking about like nut milks or non-dairy milks. I don't it, drink milk or non-dairy milk as it is, but I use it as an ingredient in things, in my oatmeals, uh, in lattes, coffees, uh, in like chia pudding and things like that. Uh, and so I saw someone post, it must have been on Instagram or Facebook or something about making homemade walnut milk in a latte. And I was like, yes, immediately making this. I have the ingredients at home uh, already. And I thought that that would be delicious. So I am officially hooked and now I want to make almond milk. I want to make oat milk. It is so easy. All I did was instead of soaking the walnuts overnight, I simmered them for I think 10-ish minutes, uh, drained and rinsed. I added cold water and the nuts to a blender and then I strained it through cheesecloth because that's what I had on hand. Fun fact, I actually just ordered some nut milk bags and I will be trying that next time because cheesecloth was a little messy. I wanted it to be slightly sweetened so I added a couple of dates, blended that up, strained it again, and I was so impressed by this recipe. I am definitely going to be making it again, and I'm just so excited about it. Next up were some everything bagels. I love a good bagel with cream cheese in the morning. I thought I would go ahead and make my own because they do seem really easy to make. Now, <laughs> full disclosure, I think I used the wrong flour i should have totally used bread flour i don't know what i was thinking i used all-purpose flour and it took me absolutely forever to hand knead this dough i do not have a kitchenaid mixer dream of mine is to have one but uh yeah so i was kneading by hand forever but they came out delicious so it was absolutely worth the manual labor
if you've been watching my more recent videos or content on Instagram, you know I am loving homemade English muffins and I've made those several times. Uh, this is going to be a recipe that I am going to repeat over and over again because it was simple and it was delicious. Minus the fact that I had to knead the dough forever. That was my own fault and I'm sure it would be easier if I had a KitchenAid mixer or something, but nonetheless, it came out so good that, uh, yeah, I'm going to be keeping this on rotation. My daughter and I absolutely love it. We have been, I actually just had one for breakfast this morning. I usually only eat about a half of one because they're so filling and satisfying. I'm finding the more that I make from home, uh, from scratch, the less volume of it that I need. I feel like I'm more satisfied because it's just tasting out of this world and I'm fulfilled. I don't, I don't know. That's so cheesy, but it feels true. <laughs> um, what I liked about this recipe was that I boiled it in the water with some brown sugar and that just adds that nice smooth kind of like that chew on the outside of those bagels. I didn't use an egg wash to sprinkle my everything seasoning, but you can use egg wash instead. Um, I just sprinkled the toppings on when it was still uh, wet right before baking and everything stuck beautifully. Another breakfast item I've been wanting to make homemade cinnamon rolls for the longest time. I just felt like I was so intimidated by it, but now looking back on how easy they are, I don't know why I was intimidated. My goal is to go ahead and prep some for the freezer, but I wanted to test out a recipe first and kind of see how I liked it. Now, I think that the next time I try them, I'm going to try a different recipe. J just to see uh, but these were delicious nonetheless they uh, turned out amazing I was so proud of myself I sent some over to my neighbor in the morning I sent I sent Sydney over in her pajamas with some worn cinnamon buns uh, and so we they did not go to waste but I think the next time I make them I will go ahead and make them for the freezer or make them in a smaller batch that way maybe we can just like bake one or two at a time Now, not everything I make from scratch is going to be the healthiest, clearly. These cinnamon rolls were decadent. I am going to try a different recipe next time because there definitely were some things that I would want to tweak, but I actually was making these in preparation for the holidays because I would love to make a delicious recipe and have them for a nice holiday breakfast for my daughter and myself. Again, we don't need an entire pan full. And so what I think I will do is freeze individual ones on a cookie sheet ahead of time. And then that way we can just bake off a few at a time and hopefully they come out good. Or, you know, if I am going to a family's you know, family member's house or something, I will have a recipe in my back pocket to make and prep ahead of time. Now I forgot that I wanted to, I saw this trick online where you can slice them when, before you roll them up, you can just slice, slice them into strips and then roll the individual strips up. And that way you don't smush your rolls. Um, I definitely want to try that next time. I forgot while I was just on a roll slicing these. So I let the rolls kind of sit and rise slowly in the fridge with a little bit of heavy cream. And then the next morning I made up some cream cheese frosting because I feel like that is the only way to eat a homemade cinnamon bun is to have cream cheese frosting. Another breakfast item, like I said, this week was just a lot of breakfast prep 
uh, items. Uh, apparently that's just what we needed in our house. Uh, I needed to make some more granola. So my daughter and I love doing breakfast parfaits with granola, yogurt, and some fresh fruit. And I was out, just ran out this week. So I went ahead and made some uh, vanilla granola, but I sprinkled some chocolate in there, some like dark chocolate chunks in there. And it is so delicious it is so easy i feel like granola is one of those things i never knew how easy it was to make and how customizable it is for this recipe i just used some rolled oats for nuts i chopped up some pecans and walnuts because that's what i had on hand you can use almond slivers you can use whatever you want we have some coconut oil a little bit of honey maple syrup just a touch of vanilla and some sprinkle of salt. Mix that all together and then all you do is lay it out into a cookie sheet or on a cookie sheet I use my silicone liner or parchment paper and then bake it. I, every recipe is different. I think it was 350 for like 20-25 minutes. I just really make sure I check on it and make sure that the nuts don't burn because the pecans tend to do so uh, just till everything's nice and dry and then let it completely cool and then you have your own homemade granola right ready to go on hand. It is so satisfying and delicious. See, I wanted to make that cinnamon brown sugar syrup. I love the cinnamon brown sugar shaken espresso drink from Starbucks, but I kind of wanted to make one from home instead of spending $6 on one out. And so this was incredibly easy. I highly recommend if you like adding syrups to your coffees or making lattes from home or cold brews or anything like that, I highly recommend making your own syrups from home because it is so easy to do. I store mine in the fridge usually just to make sure everything stays a little longer. This brown sugar cinnamon simple syrup was and is because it's still in my fridge phenomenal. Of course, I had to go ahead and prep some pancakes for the freezer and eggs as well. Those are kind of staples in my house often. It's whenever I make pancakes for breakfast for my daughter, I'll usually double the batch and then freeze the rest. And then that way she has an easy grab and go breakfast for, not go, but like an easy quick breakfast idea for school. She actually had those this morning. Okay, the last breakfast item, my daughter has been begging to make homemade yogurt for a long time. I don't know where she ever came up with this idea. Uh, I have used to make homemade yogurt back in school. If you don't know, I have a background in nutrition. I went to college for it. I have my degree in it. And I remember making homemade yogurt in nutrition class. I know it's incredibly easy. I just, I don't know, I never thought to make it myself. And so randomly my daughter asked if we could make homemade yogurt and so I went out and grabbed a thing of plain yogurt and some whole organic whole milk and we ended up doing that. You can make homemade yogurt in several different ways. I used the stovetop method and so I used organic whole milk about a half gallon and then I think it was a cup or half a cup. I don't really remember the recipe but I will I will write it down below, of um, plain Greek yogurt. As long as it has live active cultures, you're good. So bringing the milk up to about 180 degrees and then going ahead and letting it cool down to 120 before adding in the Greek yogurt or whatever yogurt starter culture you wanna use. Don't completely mix it all up. And then I incubated it in warm towels, wrapped it all up like a baby, put it in the oven with my oven light on for overnight for about 12 hours and then I took it out of the oven and put it in the fridge for several hours until it was nice and cold. Now I am going to in the future strain this to make it a little thicker like Greek style but it was so stinking good. 
So my plan with the yogurt is to add some maybe like few fruit purees in it or some vanilla flakes, vanilla bean. Uh, you can add some sweetener like honey or maple syrup, whatever your heart desires. Uh, you can, I think I'm gonna go ahead since it's a, it's a big batch, I don't like to waste food. I'm gonna go ahead and make some frozen yogurt bites or frozen yogurt bark, sprinkle some granola, some fresh fruit berries in there and freeze that up so that it doesn't go to waste. And then the two non-breakfast food items that I made this week, I made some homemade hummus. Hummus is so easy to make. I've made that a few times at least on my channel or in, in videos. We usually dip either fresh veggies in there, olives, or pretzels is a big thing. Right now we're loving pretzels with hummus and I will eat it as a nighttime snack. Hummus was another one of those things that I made in college in food science class and I had no idea how easy it was to make until I made it in college. Chickpeas, lemon juice, I like lots of lemon in my hummus, a little bit of salt, lots of garlic because I wanted to make kind of a garlic uh, hummus and tahini you there are recipes that you can make without but i kind of always have that in my fridge so i do that i added a little bit of cumin and uh cold water is the key when you are blending this all up oh also olive oil i didn't mention um, but adding cold water in there makes it really fluffy and really brings it to life so i drizzled it with a little bit more olive oil and some sesame seeds and like i said we have been snacking on this non-stop ever since i made it with some pretzels or in a little lunch charcuterie plate. The next thing I made I forgot about so I didn't do a little intro to it but I tried out these kind bars or in quotations quite kind bars. They are just almonds, uh, coconut flakes and or coconut chips and maple syrup and then you bake them up. They were supposed to be like kind bars but these I found to be really sticky and kind of falling apart. The flavor was 10 out of 10 though so I will try again and tweak and report back because I still ate them. Now of course you didn't see any of the meals that I made uh, for dinners and all of that uh, but nothing really you unique to what I, you know, anything that I hadn't made before. So I didn't include that in this video. These were just separate items that I made from scratch this week, not necessarily meals. I usually like to make my meals fresh for the most part, like day of, unless it's a freezer pasta dish. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any ideas, please let me know what are you looking forward to trying? Or if you have something that you love to make homemade, please let me know in the comments down below because I love, love, love ideas. Uh, yeah, look forward to more of these types of videos coming soon. Bye.